everybody today we're gonna go over the slash skin command which gives you the opportunity to add skins and uh, let only a s certain users use this command you do not have to own any of these skins to apply them to your weapons or your players weapons no one has to own them here is my skins config this is where you can add more skins by IDs and short names which in terms will add them to the slash skin command in game if you put that one certain item inside the box uh, like I just showed you so let's say for AK um, it is rifle dots AK so this is the only skin that I have on it is that I actually had uh, more skins in there but that is the default skins uh, the default skins will always be there um, unless you prevent default skins but in my opinion that's not necessary um, also you can add every single item you can add attire you can add like doors and barricades whatever every single weapon you can even add a guitar grenades hammer whatever you want okay as long as it has skins so what do you want to what do you want to do now let's oh let's go back to uh, rifle ak and Uh, let's actually delete. Let's delete it. All right. So this is what it's gonna look like, right? And or whatever, however your, uh, however your skins.json file looks like, or JSON, or whatever you want to call it. Just hit enter and space until it is um, about the same length as the other underneath so rifle.ak um, quotation mark colon space and in the square bracket enter and then what you want to gonna do now is find your ID on the internet you have to find it in Steam Workshop. This is the ID I just had. So if you want more weapons, you just add a comma. And for the very last one, you should exclude a comma. Don't even put a comma there. And always remember to close it. And comma means next line. Uh, let's see at the bottom we haven't put a comma there see because we're not going to add more t-shirt is the last item we want skins on right um, let's go back here so we need to change this one out let's go to workshop so when you're at when you're at workshop you should always filter for the item you want skins on uh, for me it's AK47 because that's rifle.ak and just pick one that you think looks good um, this is just an example so I'm gonna add the dynasty AK um, or actually let me see so you can also click accepted for game which will only include those skins who are already been accepted into the game so I think Azul looks amazing and No Mercy looks awesome let me actually add both of them just to show you what to do when adding more than one uh, let's actually don't worry me again um, so maybe you're probably thinking what am I looking for here because there's basically no information here right um, there's no ID on this page but 
at the very end of this uh, URL, there is an ID. It says question mark ID equals, and it's the numbers, all these numbers um, at the end. And if you get this and search text equals, just delete it. Yeah, and copy this. Copy. Go back to the document and paste it on a new line. So because I'm adding another skin, I need to put comma and enter to go to a new line. And I need to open the other page and find this ID too. I need to copy, go back to the document and paste. And because I don't want another skin, I'm not gonna write the comma there. So I just save. And then I go back to the game, all right? And I open up console and I type oxide dot reload space skin. Oh, I'm sorry, skins. And it should reload. All right. And now when I type in skin and put the AK in there, you got two new skins or three or four or how many skins you actually put there. So this is a new skin. It's it's also it's real time edited. As long as you reload, of course, it will update instantly. That's all you need to know. I'm really sorry about about the mic quality. Not only am I sick and have a cold, I'm also using a headset mic right now. I'm really sorry. I'm in the middle of moving uh, to a new apartment, a bigger apartment, a better apartment, and. I'm going to soundproof the office that I'm going to have and the sound quality is going to be crisp and I also have a new mic that I haven't used in a video yet I think yeah I think it's gonna, going to be great just wait for it and you'll see thank you so much for watching please leave a like if you want to see more I'm going to make more tutorials like this I'll probably make a few more using this mic I'm really sorry I yeah um, please bear with me I'm in the middle of moving um, yeah thank you so much guys like the video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and put down in the comments below if there's one particular plugin or whatever you want to know or want to learn I'll make a video on it and yeah hopefully hopefully you learned something and this helped out I'll see you in the next one goodbye thank you guys so much for watching I hope this helps you on your adventure on whatever service uses this feature remember my server has this feature in the description below and probably on the screen right now is the server discord link and name for the server Make sure to join, say hello, I'll see you later, goodbye.